Weathering and Erosion by Tori Mayloof. The Earth's surface is always changing. Learn how weathering and erosion constantly reshape it through wind, water, and more. Ever-changing Earth. The shape and look of Earth's surface changes over time. It never stops changing. Rivers bend, shorelines wear away, valleys grow deeper, canyons grow wider, mountains break down. These changes can be caused by the blowing wind, or they can be the result of running water. Ice can cause these changes too. So can the sun's rays. Even people play a part. Earth's surface has changed a lot over the years and continues to do so. Wind, water, and more. Imagine a fierce storm. Rain pours, winds blow wildly. What do you think the rain and the wind do to Earth's surface? They change it. The wind can loosen small bits of dirt and dust. Drip by drip, the rain can wear down a mountain. This process is called weathering. A tornado is a rotating cloud that has winds that reach up to 300 miles per hour. In these pictures, you see a snowstorm, a picture of rain, and a tropical storm blowing those trees. Over time, wind and rain wear down Earth's surface. They break into small pieces. These pieces are called sediment. Wind and water then move the sediment. They carry it away. This movement is a process known as erosion. Weathering and erosion can happen at the same time. They work together to change Earth's surface. The captions say weathering and erosion are changing this mountainside. It also shows small rocks such as these are easily carried away by this river. Wild waters. Sediment can blow into streams and rivers. It moves with the water on its way to the ocean. It carves into hills. It cuts into mountains. This is how valleys are made. It is also how canyons are made. The Grand Canyon was made this way. The Grand Canyon is huge. It is 446 kilometers or 227 miles long. And it's 2.6 kilometers or 1.6 miles deep. A river carved the massive canyon. It took millions of years. Where is it? Hmm. This is the Colorado River runs through the Grand Canyon, but the canyon is in Arizona. Scorching sun. The sun can change Earth's surface as well. The sun heats up rocks. Heat makes the rocks expand. Then, as the air cools, the rocks contract. They shrink. When this happens over and over again, the rocks get very weak. After a while, they begin to crack. They eventually break apart into tiny pieces. Then, the erosion process begins and carries away the pieces of rock. It says the sun's heat causes large cracks in some rocks. Many years ago, water carried pieces of rock away to help form this canyon. Freezing ice. Sometimes water turns to ice. This can cause weathering too. Water can run into cracks in rocks. If the air is cold enough, the water will freeze. It turns to ice and expands or gets bigger. When this happens, the ice widens the cracks. It can even split rocks. Later, if the air gets warmer, the ice will melt. It will turn back into water.
When this happens, erosion begins. The water carries away tiny pieces of the rock. The picture on the left says, this rock shattered as ice froze into its cracks. And on the right, it says, as ice melts, the water washes away the cracked bits of rock. A glacier is a very large sheet of ice and snow. It moves slowly down a slope. As it moves, it cuts into nearby rocks. Over time, the glacier melts. The water carves out large valleys. One such valley is called Yosemite Valley. A very long time ago, there were glaciers in Yosemite. These glaciers helped make a beautiful place to visit. It says sunny California. It's hard to imagine sunny California covered in ice, but millions of years ago, it was. Yosemite Valley might have been carved by a glacier like this one shown at the top right. Plants and animals. Plants and animals also cause weathering. Sometimes soil builds up in the cracks of a rock. A seed might find its way into that soil. Then, a plant will grow in the middle of a rock. As it grows, the plant's roots crack and break apart the rock. Animals can break apart rocks too. Some live underground. They break apart rocks as they move through the dirt. Others break rocks above ground. They crush them by running or walking on them. To the left, it says this plant will slowly break apart the rock as it grows. And on the right, it says that groundhogs burrow or dig underground. They can move over 700 pounds of dirt when digging a den. Harsh chemicals. Chemicals also wear away Earth's surface. There are gases, such as oxygen, in the air and soil. New chemicals can form when these gases mix with water. Acid is one of these chemicals. It can dissolve rocks. This means it turns the rocks to liquid. Limestone is a type of rock that acid can dissolve quickly. It can make huge cracks in the rock too. It can even make caves and sinkholes. On the left, it's showing you that acid dissolves limestone. And on the right, it says cool caves. There are more than 110 caves in Carlsbad Caverns. These caves are in New Mexico. You can walk through them. People play a part. People do not cause weathering, but they do speed it up. One way to do this is by polluting the air. Cars release unsafe gases. So do factories. These gases make acid rain. Acid rain eats away at the Earth's surface. People speed up erosion too. One way they do this is by cutting down forests. The roots of trees help hold soil in place. When trees are cut down, the soil washes and blows away faster. The picture says landslides. When plants and trees are removed, rocks and soil can suddenly slide down a hill. This is called a landslide. People can also stop erosion. This is known as erosion control. One way to do this is to build structures that hold soil and, and rocks in place. Gavions are made of wire. They are filled with rocks. They can be used to hold dirt into place. Another way to prevent erosion is to plant trees and plants along shorelines. The roots of these plants help keep soil in place and they help protect the shoreline from big waves and storms. It says these fields have been planted in a way that keeps the soil in place and makes a fancy pattern. On the right, the roots of this plant will help hold soil in place. And at the bottom, these gabions help hold the dirt in place. Seeing is believing. It may be wind or water. It may be ice or sun. It may even be chemicals or plants. Whatever it may be, these forces create amazing sights. Weathering and erosion have made some of the most scenic places in the world. There are creepy caves. There are wonderful cave waterfalls. You can see crazy cliffs or walk through astounding arches. But hurry, these places won't last forever.